guys today we are taking a quick look this is just a quick look of this um, thing right here the Jensen portable por portable stereo CD player with cassette I just bought this today from Target so I'm gonna try to make this quick this is what it comes with inside it has this instructions both in English and Spanish it comes with a power power cord and the device itself so looking at it on the left side you have the volume knob and the function which is off tape cd auxiliary aux auxiliary auxiliary fm and am at the front you have the program that's for the cd only not the radio the repeat is for the cd uh, to move forward and backward within the same song this skips you forward and backward within the CD to the next and previous song. Stop and play. And this is the um, LED display. It only tells you information about the disc, not about the radio. The radio is completely analog. Here's the tuning. As you can see, if you want to know what station you're in, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to know what station you're in, you're going to have to have good eyesight. And this does tell you what the station is, AM and FM. On the back you'll find a uh, antenna or aerial as they call it in the UK and on the top you're gonna find this right here let's take that out and in the front you also get this so let's um let's test the radio so let's put this to um, right here FM as you can see there's no indication there's no telling you what station you're in to know what station you're in you're gonna have to look at that it does have a it does have a FM stereo indicator and this is just power and also has AM as you know AM does not have stereo by nature all right so that's the radio so let's move on to the CD um, so let's put it on CD mode so I think that CD mode is looking for a CD cannot find one so let's let's find one for it okay so it's telling us that there's no CD in there but that's okay so I just found the CD open that up it's hard to do with the left hand this is a right-handed this is for right-handed people you put the disc in there close it so there's no push button tells you that there's 15 songs so let's go to song number 10 because I think given that this is a throwback device we're in 2020 um, so CDs are going are becoming old and cassettes are completely obsolete almost completely obsolete so let's find a song from that era from the cassette era cassette era so that would be this song right here let's push play ooh you have to push hard So I remember I grew up in the 1980s and I remember this song and back then we had cassettes I don't remember us having CDs but that's because we were poor but I know for sure CDs CDs did exist in the 1980s it's just that I was uh, poor and um 
We didn't have CDs. I never even heard of CDs back in the 1980s. But I did hear this song. Alright, so yeah, I remember this song. And I think track number 12 has another 1980s song. So back in those days, I remember I used to watch Knight Rider and The Incredible Hulk on my analog TV. But so let's move to song number 12. Let's see what's that, what that is. I can't hear anything. Wow, it takes... Okay, that's not it. Okay. So this is the this is the nineteen eighties song. I also remember this song from when I, when I was a kid in the nineteen eighties. So let's try the um, the forward function. So this song right here, this is not a song. This is actually the anthem of Russia, the Russian Federation. So it's, it has a 1.4, but it's really track number 14. That point just indicates play when it's solid, and when it's paused, it's, um, it's um, doing that. It's intermittent. It's, it's blinking. I don't think I have it. Let me stop this. Ooh, you have to push. Wow. You have to hold it. There we go. Yeah, so um, I don't think I have a cassette. Let me go look and see if we can test the cassette. All right, so strangely enough, I managed to find a cassette. It was um, somewhere around my room. So you have to set this to off tape to be able to use the cassette player. So I already did that. And then you probably already know this you open it up this uh, cassette the tape faces up I know some some older some other cassette players that are like that but this one is like this and then you press play and we wait <coughs> and we wait And it went out. I don't know what happened. So let me rewind if I want to see if that was the cassette or the player. Yeah, it was the cassette. So the player's working fine.
so it should come up so um, that, that song is from the YouTube music library so I'm not gonna get a copyright strike over that but I will get a copyright strike over the other two songs but I'm gonna do it anyway so if I get in trouble I get in trouble so when you want to rewind you have to press this one right here if you want to fast forward you have to press this one right here so it's kind of awkward if you want to record of course you have to press that this is stop and this is pause so it's a very simple uh, setup if you're old enough to remember these things you'll know that this is the standard setup nothing unusual there I don't know what else to uh, say about this it's a very simple device but very nice I'm finding it very nice I did not talk about program or repeat because uh, I didn't I don't think that's interesting but let's look at it you know I don't want anybody to say that I didn't do a good review. So let's look at it. Let's go back to the um, CD. So let's program the CD. Let's say number two. Let's do number two. Let's also do number five. I don't know. I don't know how that works. If you push. Oh, so it is working. It skips the number five. And that's it. And let's turn that off. I don't know how to turn that off. Oh, let's just turn the whole thing off. Turn it back on. So let's test the repeat. Repeat, when you press repeat. The current song will repeat. If you press repeat again. Okay, if you press repeat one, the current song will repeat. If you press uh, repeat twice, the whole disc will repeat. If you press it again, it'll turn off. And I, I hate the fact that I have to, I have to, I have to literally hold hold this. Just to turn it off. I mean, just to press the stop button. I have to hold it like that. And the reason why I can't use my thumb is because like, my car door trapped my finger and it hurt. So that's it. There's nothing else to say about this. Oh, the, the back has a aux in. That's if you want to record, let's say, from your phone into the cassette. And that's where the audio comes in. This is the headphone. So this is... Uh, if you want to connect this to headphones or speakers, that's what you use. I don't think I want to test this. I'm sure it works. And um, so, if, let's say you want to record from uh, you want to record from uh, your phone. You have to go to aux mode. And then you record from here. So you likely have two options. You can record from the aux cable or likewise you can press play on the um, CD and then record onto the cassette. So you can either record from the CD to the cassette or from the cable to the cassette. What you cannot do is record onto the CD because this doesn't have a uh, CD recording function. And uh, of course, the um, headphones, it works on every single mode. 
Oh, let's talk about the battery. Let me turn it off. It uses it uses batteries if you want. So let me hold on. So this is the back side. Uh, you can use your cable if you want, but also you can if you're going to the beach. Let's say you're going to the beach, and um, you get to use those C batteries. This is fairly standard among uh, among uh, all of these players. It's always the C batteries, as you can see. Um, there's six of them. It says uh, one UM Type C. So there's six of them. I don't know how to put this back. All right. Now this carry handle, it does have it, but it just feels horrible. If you look at it from this side, it's like they forgot the other side. The close is nice and it looks nice when it's closed but holding on to it is just not pleasant it feels like it's missing half of the half of the piece and that's just my opinion of course so overall for thirty dollars from target i think this is definitely a good buy i don't know how long this is gonna last i hope it lasts a long time but everything's nice this is very smooth seems like it's very oiled up in there um like i said you have to if you want to know what station you're on you have to look over here because this won't tell you i read some reviews that say that this doesn't tell you what station you're on that's not true whoever made those reviews they didn't even bother to look at this knob right here you can tell it's a sticker that's just glued onto the knob so that's probably going to come off and i'm happy about it i am definitely happy i can definitely recommend it and uh probably a good idea to get some speakers because the sound quality is not that great if you look at these speakers they're very small they're very small so if you want super good audio you want to you'll want to get some uh, speakers over here there is no bluetooth so don't even try it and that's it guys thank you for watching thank you for watching skywind 007 so this product does pass the skywind 007 test i'm happy with it and i can recommend it there's nothing horribly wrong about it everything seems okay and um, that's it so subscribe if you want to and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you don't like it well thumbs down thank you and have a great night